My name is Mohamed Elmi. I'm a human rights advisor working with UNSOM Human Rights and Protection Group. Hello, my name is Adelina Urmanova and I'm a UNV with the United Nations Mine Action Service in Somalia, working as the AMISOM Support Project Officer. My name is Panja Kutubakoma and I am a training officer with the IMTC in UNSOS. My name is Emily Ndiga. I'm a human rights officer within the UNSOM Human Rights and Protection Group. I am Victoria Yamwa, Chief Superintendent of Police from Ghana Police Service. Hi, my name is Franz Hobla and I'm from Namibia. I work for the United Nations Office for Project Services in Somalia. from Freetown, Sierra Leone. From Namibia. Somali and Dutch. From Ghana. And I'm from Turkey. Portuguese national. From the Indian Navy. Tashkent, Uzbekistan, and I'm very happy to be here. Human Rights and uh, Protection Group mainly uh, is uh, about uh, protecting, promoting, fulfilling human rights of the Somali people. I'm mainly in the capacity building team, developing and delivering training materials to the various stakeholders. What I do is to support the learning and development needs of staff um, in ONSOS and ONSOM, but also that of AMISOM. My contribution is getting staff to have the necessary skills and knowledge to carry on their day-to-day -day work. I work with the Somali government on human rights capacity building, which means um, supporting the government in their work to implement and mainstream human rights in, the, in their policy and legislation. Uh, my duties include collecting information from our UNMAS um, offices located in all six uh, regions of Somalia and reflecting the uh, progress as well as the achievements of the AMISOM support project. I believe through accurate and comprehensive reporting I will be able to support the activities on the ground so that the sound decisions and efficient process are swiftly made. Strategic policy advice on policing in line with the national security architecture. I also facilitate technical committee meetings for the implementation of the new policing model for Gamudu stake in particular. Donor coordination for the implementation of the priorities of projects that are set by the state police of Gamudu. The Joint Police Program or JPP supports the implementation of the new policing model and community policing in Somalia, aiming to increase police presence, visibility, and capability across the country. Working with the federal government of Somalia and its member states, UNOPS and UNDP work in partnership with Amazon Police and UN Police towards the goal by providing non-lethal support, infrastructure, training, and rule of law support to the state and federal police services. As a payment mentor, my job is to contribute towards the development and management of a biometric system for the accurate and timely payment of policing staff so that they can continue their important work in and within communities. Somalia has one of the longest coastlines in Africa and has had a fascinating sojourn with the maritime history in the region. For centuries, Somalia has been considered as a gateway to Africa for trade emanating from the Mediterranean, Persian Gulf, and Asia. And to this accord, Somalia in the past has had a flourishing maritime industry that comprised of skilled seafarers and shipbuilders. In the numerous engagements of UNSOM in the maritime sector, it has been heartening to see Somalis, especially women and youth, who are keen to take up professions in the maritime domain and who are keen to assume leadership responsibilities in the fields of maritime security, governance, fisheries, and ports. I have to say that SSR is a national process with a 
a very important role to play in the quest for political solutions to conflict, the prevention of conflict and relapse into violence, as well as laying of the foundations of rule of law and democratic governance. As such, a strong component of my work in Somalia entails supporting the federal government of Somalia, its federal member states and the Somali people in developing the security institutions, ensuring that the security sector is not only able, affordable, acceptable, but most important, that the security sector is accountable to civilian oversight, an effective, affordable, able and accountable security sector that does not discriminate and abides with human rights and the rule of law is the cornerstone of peace and sustainable development in any country and Somalia is not an exception. My job is the establishment and the maintenance of the facilities with necessary security infrastructure to ensure the mission's civilian, military and police components to deploy, outreach and continue their mandated operations. The technical and logistic support from my section is being provided through outsourcing of environmental and engineering services in wide range, which creates job opportunities for nationals of the host country. This also serves the purpose of local capacity building in technical disciplines of engineering. As of today, over 2,000 local personnel is being employed under the service contracts of engineering section. UN Day is very important because um, it celebrates the diversity of the United Nations and the key values and principles of this organization. I consider it as a great pleasure to contribute my quota in serving the people of Somalia. I believe through accurate and comprehensive reporting I will be able to support the activities on the ground so that the sound decisions and efficient process are swiftly made. It's a privilege to serve the UN family in Somalia and support the federal government and its people to advance peace and security in the country. UN is uh, mainly about uh, three areas on uh, humanity, on issues of development, issues of security and issues of human rights. UNOPS and the Joint Police Programme and its partners play a critical role in supporting the development goals of the federal government of Somalia towards peaceful, secure and prosperous communities. This is a reaffirmation, a reconfirmation of our commitment to making the world a better place not only where we work, but the world in general. We, the maritime team of UNSOM, aim to help Somalia tap into this maritime potential and aim to help Somalia return to its rightful place as a maritime nation with an ocean of opportunities. We are committed to reduce the environmental footprint of the mission. Our efforts are in line with the energy saving, treatment of wastewater, recycling and efficient utilization of clean water. Happy UN Day!